What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more bug snacks. Let's just jump right back in. Now last time we left off, we went over to the Scorched Gorge, we talked to Cromdo and he tried to sell us a bridge, <laughs> unironically, and then we also talked to Triffany and brought her back to Snacksburg, which is great. We also need to go talk to Wiggle, try and, oh wait, Wiggle over there, try and bring her back. And then probably after that, we're going to have like another like event around the campfire or something like that. And maybe that'll unlock the, uh, uh another fine day behind us. <laughs> I forgot how nasty that Philbo looks like. Now that he's all bug snacks, like mm, a complete mix of bug snacks. Like campfire. Oh, ah, and I'm on fire again. No, like he's got, <laughs> he's got the poptic like teeth and like the strappy nose or whatever the raspy nose. I'm like a campfire. Oh, that is so nasty. He's got a giant grape skeeter on top of his head, like a giant one. <laughs> oh, anyways, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything uh, for Bevica because she has side quests campfire. right now. But I guess we'll go to yeah, it's 5 a.m. right now. Let's go talk to Wiggle. Let's see if we can bring her back. All she really wants is. Like for us to, you know, pick up some bug snacks so she can get some inspiration to sing and make songs and whatever else, right? So shouldn't be too hard to go find out. Oh yeah, then we can catch like every bug snack as well. So let's see if we can catch this sweetie fly. We don't have that uh, snack grappler right now. So, uh, whoops, wrong button. Uh, there you go, snack trap. Whoop. Hopefully it comes over here, rests in my snack trap. Oh, we got it, nice. All right, let's go pick it up. Pick it up, ah, we're gonna lose it. There you go, got it. Lovely, sweetie fly. Sweetie fly. Sweetie fly. Let's go talk to Wiggle and see what she's up to. Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. Will you come back to Snacksburg? <gasps> You want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean butt snacks. Mm -hmm. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Get me a pinantula and we'll see what we can do. I wonder if I can give her a pinantula? And put it like on a on her arm or something like that instead of on top of her head to get a new hairdo and see if that's fine. Oh my god, the raspy, so cute sounding. Raspy, raspy. <laughs> I forgot how to get the pinantula. How do we do that last time? So this is another instance of us. Uh, oh yeah, we need to get more chocolate. Yeah, there's two pinantulas over here. We can get. Oh, I think I uh. Hold on, I think I know what I did. Doesn't the crapple? The crapple does like chocolate. That's good. So let's hit the pinantula with the chocolate. Oop, there you go. And hopefully he's gonna. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Nice. He picks it up. And what's he, what's he going to do with it, though? Can I just pick? Oh. Wait. How do we? The pineantula just gets loose and then. What? Hold on. Do I? Oh, I probably have to wait for the uh, the crapple to throw it in inside the crapple like den over there or whatever that is. And even the Queeble's like obsessed with the uh, the pineantula there. It's covered in chocolate. He's trying to like flip it over with his little spoon. Queeble, Queeble, Queeble. Pick it up. Oh, it worked. Perfect. Let's get the pineantula. 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 Let's go talk to Wiggle and let's go. Oh, yeah, it's covered in chocolate. <laughs> the chocolate looks, <laughs> she looks so nasty. <laughs> Let's go get some more chocolate over here. I need to get some more of this. We can use it in other biomes and stuff, too, so. Let's go talk to her and see what she has to say. <laughs> the chocolate on her face! What did you want? Oh, yeah, let's feed her. And, yeah, what's gonna happen if I turn, like, her arm or something like that into Pinantula, though? Well, it's, like, yellow, though, so it's like, oh... Yes, let's turn Wiggle's hair into Pinantula, so I won't even progress if I don't do that. But, yeah, you can see she's got, like, cheap poof like, Dorito, like, chips for hair right now. We're gonna turn into, to, like, pineapple leaves instead, so... That's just kind of proof that she was like the first Grumpus to eat bugs or, you know, to still have a body part that is bug snacks. So let's turn her hair into Pinantula hair. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that struck a chord. With a new head, I can think new thoughts. That's the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. Ooh, this flow is more of a dribble. 
I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. Grape skeeter? Only just need one grape skeeter. Yeah, we already know about their uh, fruity goop. Just need to wait a little while for. Oh my god, the raspberry in the background. So cute! Oh my gosh! Now remember, we do need the rasby. We need to cover the rasby in the chocolate. And then, like, whatever time the Grape Skeeto comes out. Hold on, what time does they come out? Uh, let's go check. There it is. Wait, no, that's the Lolive. There's the Grape Skeeto. So, 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. What time is it right now, though? Uh, 8.04 a.m. So, we need to wait until it's, like, 4 p.m. So, let's just go sleep. Is there a bed over here? Well, there's that. Oh, yeah, I can use that. Okay, that's good. Let's see. That's 5 p.m. There we go. That, sh that should be good. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or 5 a.m. And yep, there you go. There are the grape mosquitoes. Perfect. Let's cover the rasby in. There you go. And I think that rasby should still be alive. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's good. Oh, no, but the rasby is over there now. Man. Oh, wait, what happens? Yeah, what happens when the grape mosquitoes, like, timer runs out, though? I kind of want to myth buzz that. Let's see. Let me not pick it up on purpose. Like, does he just, like, deflate back into his normal size or something like that? I don't know. Let's see. Because he is thick as heck right now. <laughs> Let's see what happens whenever the timer goes out, though. Oh, yeah, he does. He just deflates back into his normal size. Okay, that's kind of weird. Either way, let's go grab some more chocolate just because I'm starting to run out already, right? But let's wait until another Raspberry comes out. Oh, and it's raining right now, too. So, yeah, once again, we could go get that caramel pop dick if we wanted, but... There you go. Oh, yeah, we only need one Grape Skeeto. Whoops. I guess I can get this one, too. There you go. Grape Skeeto. Grape Skeeto. <laughs> let's feed this to Wiggle. Uh, let's eat. There you go. And what did she want for this? Just anything, I guess? Yeah, just feed her one grape mosquito and that's it. Yeah, we did like a horn or something like that last time. What about like a- Oh yeah, we did the hand, I think, too. And it just turned into like a grape or something nasty looking. Oh, yeah, she's got like a green nose. Uh, that'd be, that'd be good if I could give her a grape mosquito nose. But I can't do that right now because I have to do like other body parts first. So I guess we'll do a horn. Mm -hmm. Oh, ew, the cheap oh. moved down there. I look fabulous. The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm-hmm, they gonna flow. Ooh, any second now, come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. Yeah, see, those are the pop ticks we should have kept for uh, from last episode, but whatever. Let's give her another grape mosquito just to get a little bit of symmetry on her head. Oh, I can't do that yet, man. But yeah, she's got that, like, cheap hoof, like, oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, she threw it off. Man. Oh yeah, and then yeah, she wants to white cheap poof a little bit later, but I think that might be one of her side quests, like when she's actually in Snacksburg. So I don't think we want we want to do that one just yet. But let's go back to the desert, Scorched Gorge. Let's go get the uh Oh yeah, and then let's go get some more chocolate from here. And then also I think uh Wambus's farm should have some chocolate now, so let's go get as much chocolate as possible. And I wonder how the rain's gonna affect like the like 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 the, the what what was the jalapeno again? Like the scorpino? I wonder how the rain's going to affect, like, them throwing the fire. Is it going to immediately extinguish or what? I don't know. Either way, uh, oh yeah, Grandpa's got side quests and stuff like that, but... Once again, I don't know how Philbo's lighting a campfire in the rain, but... Uh, Everything good? <laughs> I guess he's just that good at it, right? Jeez. Let's go over here, let's go get some more, uh, there you go, get some more chocolate. Boom. Get some more ketchup, just because, hey, why not, right? Just in case anything wants ketchup. And, uh, we already have Max Hot Sauce, so that's good. There you go, Max, uh, chocolate right there, too. Perfect. All right, let's Ooh, jump over the campfire. <laughs> oh, pro. All right, let's go to the Scorch Gorge. Let's go get two pop ticks for, uh, for Wiggle. And then we also, hopefully, whenever she goes back to the, to Snacksburg, then we could have that event that'll have. Oh, yeah, I guess it's just like, it's not raining here. It's just like a, a desert storm or whatever is going on right now, huh? But the two pop ticks, they, oh, yeah, there's one right there. There's another one there in the background. I kind of want to lure them. Uh, you know what? I, I guess it's better to lure them over here. Because if I lure them over there, there's a spuddy. Let's do this. Cover this in chocolate. Let's get our buggy ball. Cover that in chocolate as well and try to lure them over here. I can't really see them right now. Though. Oh, I see one. Oh, perfect. There's one. So hopefully, 
Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need to cover them in hot sauce first. Hold on. Whoops. Okay, they're covered in hot sauce. They're covered in hot sauce. That's good. Hopefully they get hit by the... Oh, there you go. Are they covered in chocolate right now? I think one of them might be. Is one of them hit by the... Oh, no! Yeah, that one's covered in chocolate. Man! Ah, all right. I, I think I'm messing stuff up right now. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, my bucket ball's on fire! Man, that guy's trying to hit the pop dick. He's not having any luck. Oh, we got one. He got one. That's good. That's good. Nice. Cover this one in... Oh. Cover this one in chocolate, though. Come on. Ah, he's attracted to the thing, though. Just can't really do anything about that. One of them's hiding in the bush, though, which is great. That one covered... Okay, that one's covered in whatever it's called. Let, let's, uh, put this away. Let's grab that. Boom. There you go. Our buggy ball's still over there, though. I might be able to catch this one. Hold on. Can I just do this? Oh, there you go. I got him. Got him real quick. Nice. All right. Perfect. Let's cover that other one in hot sauce. Uh, I get him? I think I got him right there. Man, he is so evasive. Oh, I covered my buggy ball in hot sauce. Oh, there you go. There you go. He's covered in hot sauce. Perfect. All right. All right. He's on fire. Awesome. He's going to pop here in just a minute. And then whenever he's not on fire. Okay. Now it's not on fire. Let's try and catch up in the snack trap. Maybe put some chocolate over here. There you go. Back to the snack trap. Oh, it's kind of tipped over, though. Hopefully he comes out of that bush and goes into the, uh, to the snack trap. It's covered in chocolate, though, so we should like it. Man, hopefully he doesn't get hit. Let me retrieve the buggy ball. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I just covered in chocolate. Hold on. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put some chocolate like, right here. Like, between him and the trap. And hopefully he'll get attracted to it, you know? So that's good. There he is right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go. Oh! Almost. Oh! Got him! All right, we got the two pop ticks. Pop tick. tick. All right, let's go back to Wiggle. Let's go feed her these two pop ticks. And then, hopefully she'll come back to Snacksburg and we can have another celebration time. Or like whatever that like campfire event is called. And then, hopefully Chandler will like lay down that bridge when we go to show you find woods. You'll get the two big bopsicles. <laughs> or however Kromdo said that. I love the way he says bopsicles. Let's go back to the uh, Zimmering Springs over here. Let's go feed her to the two pop ticks, especially because my inventory is full. So let's go back and probably have to wake her up, honestly. Uh, 10 p.m. right now, maybe we'll have to wake her up. I don't know. I don't know how much chocolate and stuff like that I just waste on those two pop ticks, but whatever. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Where is she? Oh, there she is right there, heading the bed. Feed her the two pop ticks. Pop tick. Pop tick. What did we do last time? Let's do feet. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's nasty. Ew. Uh, let's do the other foot. Mm. Uh, kind of looks like furry boots or something like that. Like weird. Oh, I look ridiculous, and I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough. Bug snakes. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. All right, Wiggle's going back to Snacksburg. Perfect. Now, oh, she can't make up her mind which way she's heading back. <laughs> now we should go back to Snacksburg, see if Philbo wants to do another, like, campfire, like, party thing. And then, hopefully, we'll have another event, like I said. And we'll be able to go to Sugar Pine Woods and get those two big bopsicles. So let's go back to Snacksburg. And, because I can't think of anyone else that we could bring back, like, right now. Remember, Kokromdo needs the two bopsicles to come back, and we'll have to go back to Sugar Pine Woods. And can't go there unless we do that party first, so... Hopefully, yep, 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 ghost stories, I just saw that for a second as it's slowly loading in. <laughs> Let's go talk to Philbo. Uh, oh, this is perfect, it's almost midnight, we're going to talk to him, cool. Oh, we never did, uh, where is, uh, Triffin? Oh, she's probably in bed or something like that. Oh, what's happening over here with Gramble and Wiggle, though? Gramble, dear, are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry, I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. <sighs> Of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? <laughs> Maybe. 
But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. Oh, it's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, d don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Ugh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. This is so funny because we already know that Wiggle like wants Grandma to get rid of his bug snacks so she can eat them. Because she like sneaks out at midnight, like specifically at midnight to go grab his bug snacks whenever he's sleepwalking. But yeah. Oh, I could do a side. Is your first side quest the one for the, uh, the white cheap poof? If so, then I might be able to do it right now. Oh, we have to interview her for. Oh, yeah. Remember, we do have to interview these guys, too. So if we interview them, then they give us like a clue or whatever. And then we can do their side quest. So I guess we can interview them. So we still have to interview you. We still have to interview Bramble, Triffany. Did we do? I think we interviewed Befica already. No, I don't think we did. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we have a lot of interviews stacked up right now, you guys. Maybe we'll do that after the campfire story thing. Or maybe we should do that before. Because I haven't done them in a couple episodes. You know, let's interview uh, Wiggle. Let's interview Wiggle. It's because she's already up. I don't want to wake anyone up right now. So, hey, have any time for an interview before you head to bed? I am no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. Let's start the interview. Let's start out with, who are you? You've certainly heard my number one single, Do the Wiggle. Yeah, I heard uh, Cromdo dancing to it in season one. <laughs> oh, that was so embarrassing for him. I had it stuck in my head for a solid month. You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction, darling. Yep. Why come to Snacktooth Island? Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my creative juices flowing, as it were. Yeah, we already know that. She's trying to eat bug snacks so she can get like creative juices flowing so she can make a new song like we already saw earlier and from last season too. So your juice isn't flowing then? Oh well... You know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggle's World or Wiggle Baby one more time and... I've been accused of being a one-hit Wiggle. Whoa. You don't want to be accused of being a one hit wiggle. <laughs> uh, thoughts on bug snacks? Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. What are you talking about? Creative juices flowing like never before or whatever. You, you still can't come up with a new song, even after eating, what, two pop ticks, a pinantula? Uh, what else? Oh, a grape skeeto, and she even ate a cheap poof too. I don't know where she got that because cheap poofs aren't on the on the beach, but whatever. Yeah, and we already know that her creative juices won't flow until the very end. She realizes she doesn't need bug snacks at all, and I think that you guys remember. I think two episodes ago by now, whenever we first saw Gramble and Wiggle, Wiggle was singing a song to Gramble. Remember in the end of season one. Wiggle says she has like a new song called like Ode to Gramble or something like that. I think that's that song that she sang whenever we first met them. And that was like one that came from the heart or something like that. But she, I'm like, we already know she was doing that just so she could, uh, you know, go on a walk with uh, Gramble on the beach so he can bring his bug snacks, his strabbies, so she could eat them. But either way, <laughs> just kind of trying to put these puzzle pieces together after the fact. What price is that exactly that you're willing to pay for bug snacks? Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. All right, well, why did you leave town? That's simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. Yeah, we know, and you just don't want to get to his snacks. Are you using Gramble for his food supply? Exactly. No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never! He's far too sweet. Like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Uh, well, I, I'm like, we're not going to do the Befica missions and stuff? Well, I guess we probably could, but like, just don't do the very last mission, because I think if we finish the side quest, that means we can't get the bad ending. 
Uh, oh yeah, then also on the topic of side quests, I don't know if I mentioned this just yet, but yeah, a lot of you guys were saying, yeah, since you need to do all the side quests to do, or, you know, all the side quests for one person, like all, all the Cromdo side quests, all the Chandlo side quests, to do the, the legendaries, and that would finish their side quest line, you guys said not to do that because, you know, then it'd be impossible for us to, to get the bad ending. So I guess we're not going to be doing the legendaries this season. If you guys want to see me doing the legendary battles against the legendary bug snacks, you know, the Master Supreme and the Mama Melon and all that kind of stuff. You can go to season one and go watch that, because I, I guess we can't do it here if we're trying to get the bad ending, so that kind of sucks. But either way, do you have any info on Lisbert Wiggle? Ah, oh, Lisbert! She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. <laughs> they didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Yeah, we I think we see in uh, Egabel and Lisbert's like table, their desk like upstairs. They have a signed autograph of Wiggle, which is pretty funny. Does that happen a lot where fans like like climb through the air ducts or whatever to find you? <laughs> Not nearly as often as I'd like. <laughs> what happened to Lisbert, do you know? <gasps> that night. When Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of buck snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. Now, what could that have been? The queen of buck snacks. Like, we already know about all the legendaries. Towering over the trees, so obviously... Would it have been the Monster Supreme? Because that's the only thing I can think of that's towering over the trees. The Mama Melon is like in a cave. The uh, the kid, the Daddy Cake like is in a. It's also in a cave, but it's off at the top of the mountain. And then the other legendary, the one that she wants, the, the the sushi thing, is in the ocean. So the only one I can think about is she's referring to either the Monster Supreme or a Snack Squatch. Hmm. And the, the Monster Supreme don't really have a screech. It just sounds like moth, zaw, moth, unless that counts as a screech, I guess. So maybe she was referring to the Snack Squatch? Maybe, I don't know. What is this Queen of Bug Snacks thing? Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Yeah, I remember when we first heard like this from Wiggle, I was like, oh man, we're not getting like any useful information from any of these people. And then we hear this from Wiggle, and we're like, whoa, things are getting kind of serious, you guys. Things are getting kind of spooky. Anyways, well, thanks, Wiggle. That's a wrap. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record, it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. All right. We well, gave you a map to Liz's last location. Check your journal for details. I think, yes, that's the one in Sugarbine Woods. We go on a cliff. I think like right up there or something like that. Because remember, from that cliff, we're able to like see Snacksburg, which is really cool. And then from that cliff, we see, I think she has a backpack and then one of them has, are we able to see any of these, uh, oh yeah, we're able to see like the, you know what, let's wait until we could, uh, watch, should we wait until we watch all of them at once so we can kind of get full context and not have like multiple episodes between each one or something like that? So we can see this one immediately. I don't know who gives us the key to get this one. And then there's a third here and then there's a fourth up there. And then there's a fifth that we get from Shelda. She gives us a box whenever we finish interviewing her, I think. And Eggbell gives us the key to open up that box, if I remember correctly. So we're pretty much going to have to wait until the very end of the game for us to watch those uh, over again. But hey, at least at least that's going to be like right before we meet uh, Lizbert and Eggbell and all them. And then we'll be able to watch their tapes right before then. And we'll have a fresh memory of these uh, these interactions that they have. And it's not going to be like pieced together over multiple episodes or whatever, right? Uh, Phil wants to talk to us. Do we want to do that? It's 2 a.m. Who else do we have to interview right now, though? Let's go check. Interview... Oh, Triffany, Gramble, Bevica. Man! 
We, st <laughs> we have so many interviews ahead of us that we haven't done. You know, jeez. Uh, you know what? Trifany, Grandpa. You know, since we did, uh, where's Grandpa at? We just saw him sleepwalking. Oh, can I, uh... Yeah, I didn't even notice that Wiggle brought her, like, a little, little, like, tanning, not tanning bed, but, you know, like, a sunbed or whatever that would be that she had over in the beach area. Where did Grandma go? He was sleepwalking? I don't know where he is right now. Oh, there he is. Let's go, uh, interview him, though. Just because we interviewed Wiggle, so might as well interview Grandpa just because they're kind of together, you know? So, let's talk to them, or talk to him, and wake up, Grandpa. Sprout! Huh? Oh, just a bad dream. And you know what? I... I know that we need to turn Gramble into full-on bug snacks to get that one last achievement. How did I do that last time? Is it Shift F2? No, F3? Oh, it was. Okay, there you go. Remember, we have one achievement. We're at 26 out of 27 achievements. The only one we don't have is Feeding Frenzy. Fully transform every Grumpus. I got so many comments from you guys on episode 20, the bonus episode from last season. Uh, how do I exit out of this? Can I just... Because I can't see an X over here. Oh, just click out of it. Okay. <laughs> But he got so many comments from you guys on episode 20, saying, Hey, you forgot to fully transform, uh, what was her name here? Shelda. I forgot to fully transform Shelda, and yeah, I, I completely forgot to do that. And apparently you don't even need to fully transform Eggabel either. I may still try and transform Eggabel, you know, try and do that before, uh, we do that one final, like, point of no return party, you know? Uh, because up there we're able to feed her and all that kind of stuff, so might as well do that. And then hopefully we'll finally get that final achievement and then fully uh, get all the achievements for the game, right? So that'd be really good. But we can't really do that right now. I don't know where Gramble is. Is he still sleepwalking all over the place? I don't know. Oh, there's Oh man, Wampus woke up real early. Oh yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, yeah, Philbo wakes up at this time too. And now, oh, man, everyone wakes up at 4 a.m. Man! <laughs> Making me look like I'm stupid waking up at like 5 p.m. <laughs> Let's see, where did, uh, I think he's in here, but I can't go in there because it's locked, right? Yeah, it's locked, so I guess I'll go to bed, and then when we wake up, we can interview Gramble, and then we can initiate that party, and then after the party, we can do some more, and maybe next episode, we can do some more interviews. I guess I'll limit myself to only, uh, let's do 5 p.m. Only two interviews per episode, that way it's not, like, full of interviews and nothing but interviews. So, let's go see where Gramble is now, as I fall off the cliff. <laughs> I love how there's no damage, no fall damage, no nothing. We can just do whatever. Oh yeah, let's donate some more, uh... We got Queebles, we got Peelbug there. Let's do... Sweetie Fly. No, wait, we need to get that We need to get that one to, uh, Philbo. Let's do Shy Weenie Worm. There you go. And then, now we should have a more, uh, a bigger backpack. So there you go, Grape Skeeto. There we go, Snack Pack upgrade, finally! So now we have... We had six slots last time, now we have eight. Yeah, okay, it only goes up by two. I think it goes up by like four next. We're going to go up to like 10 slots after that. And then it'll go up by six after that, and we'll get like 16 slots. So that's going to be crazy. Where's Gramble at? Oh, he's over here talking to Wiggle. Let's see what they have to say. Hello. Hey there, Gramble. <laughs> what? <Hey> there. <laughs> Let's talk to Gramble. Have time for an interview, Gramble? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? Let's start the interview and let's find out. <laughs> All right. Let's start out with who are you, Gramble? Uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. That's good. Why did you come to Snacktooth Island? I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. <laughs> new family? You don't have a family? I did, but then they... Uh... Can we talk about something else? Oh, I, I remember when we first interviewed him. Like, I got really suspicious about him, like, being like, Oh, let's talk about something else. Oh, let's talk about something else. Then some of you guys are like, Oh, does, does Grandpa have, like, a dark side or something like that? Because at the very end of the interview, he sounds like evil or whatever. <laughs> but anyways, what are your thoughts on bug snacks? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. <laughs> well, tell that to yourself when you're sleepwalking, because I've seen you eat so many bug snacks while sleepwalking. It's not my fault either, I didn't do it. <laughs> but everyone does eat bug snacks. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. <laughs> well, hopefully not, right? Tell that to Wiggle. When is she sneaking in here at midnight? Uh, why'd you leave town? Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They'd untreated my barn like a grocery store. I held him off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. <laughs> well, what did Wambus do? <sighs> the next night I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. 
I panicked, and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. All right, well, are your bug snacks safe from Wiggle? Maybe. Wiggle's a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Well, she loves them, but not in the way that you do. <laughs> she loves the taste of them. Do you have any info on Lizbert? Lizbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. Oh, what would she, what would she do with the bug snacks? I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Hmm, can we talk about something else? Hmm, sounds like... Because remember, like we, we saw those tapes. Agabelle, like every time Lizbert came back from an adventure, she'd give Agabelle like one of those little cheeries or something like that. I guess sometimes whatever Lizbert doesn't find anything, she asks Gramble for a bug snack and then gives it to Agabelle. That's what it sounds like right here. It's kind of savage, though. Anyways, do you know what happened to Lizbert? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? Yeah, I, th I think him just avoiding the questions is just him, you know, being scared and being very, uh, nervous about everything, I guess. Which makes sense. But yeah, I'm like, if you think about it, Lizbert is always watching because she's like a part of the, like, island now or whatever. <laughs> she's like controlling the bug snacks or whatever that thing is. So, in a way, everyone here is kind of alluding to the truth, but in a very, like, undercover secret way. Like, 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 Wiggle talking about, like, the queen of bug snacks. Is she referring to Lizbert there? And then Grambles being like, oh, I can feel Lizbert like watching me or something like that, or her presence or something like that. But uh, yeah, she she can watch him and using the snacks watch as like a, a minion or whatever. And then she's like all over the island because she's like controlling the whole entire island of bug snacks. So it's kind of crazy that I wonder what Wambus said earlier. Man, I wish I was thinking about that while I was interviewing Wambus, but either way, we're done. You can relax. Ooh, I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that little line right there. If you promise never to interview me again. Yeah, that sounded suspicious last time, but it just sounds like he doesn't like interviews. Grant will give you a diary key. Check your journal for details. All right, diary key, so which... Yeah, that's... that's the the... The thing with the tape over there is like a, a cabinet key that we need. So what is this diary key for? I don't know. Either way, yeah, you see over here, Gramble was like knitting more stuff, like maybe a scarf, a strappy scarf with like hearts or something like that over here. So I, I can scan it though. Gramble's yarn, Gramble knits all of his own clothes and accessories. Yeah, we have the, yep, same thing there. He has the, uh, the strappy like hat that's like knit on his head, which is really fun. And it kind of sucks whenever we like feed him stuff and it like, it, 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 like falls off of his head. But uh, we're not going to be doing that, at least not right now. Uh, oh, and then we have the Shrabby over here. We have the Poptic. We have the Spuddy. <laughs> What's over here on the loose? Uh, spuddy and then Grape Skeeto. <laughs> Thick Grape Skeeto. Grape Skeeto. Grape Skeeto. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of Grape Skeeto, I guess we can talk to Philbo, who has a big Grape Skeeto. like a campfire. Yeah, nothing like a campfire. That doesn't even exist. What are you talking about, Philbo? <laughs> Why don't you light one up? There you go. Uh, you've got that party look again. Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Yeah, if you light it up, <laughs> like I said. All right, well, let's do it. I think we have just enough time to squeeze us in before the end of the episode. Ah, uh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beats sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> There ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. <laughs> There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. 
None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. <gasps> what? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, oh, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. Oh. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go get the firewood. I love the music that's playing as I'm crawling on the ground. It's so spooky. The bridge hasn't come down just yet, which is good. Let's go grab the firewood and let's go back and hopefully not die on the way back. Oh, we got some firewood. Oh. <laughs> he's literally the only person who's full on bugs. He looks, he sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> oh my god, Phil, but he's just staring at us, too. Hey, uh, you wanna throw down that firewood or what? Okay, where were we? Um, uh, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? <gasps> I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here. Other than us. <gasps> She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grumps room. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats grumpus. Ah, no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beff. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah! Oh, Grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you guys remember one of our uh, Philbo, or uh, one of our uh, uh, Floofty? Oh, we can take one of these that's on fire. <laughs> that's like a weapon. Whatever Floofty uh, had one of their legs like turn into Shrabby or whatever for the experiment. They said they have like a, a, a I forgot the exact words, like an interesting plan or something like that with their leg. And I was like, oh yeah, sounds like they're going to sever off their leg and then try and eat it because it's a Shrabby. So they want to see if they can eat their own leg and do experiments that way and see what happens, I guess, right? And like I said, that, that's why they have the the leg like on the shelf over there later on, whenever uh, Floofty comes back to the to the camp. But, ooh. oh, that one over there is on fire too. This one going to catch on fire it is. Okay, I've got a weapon, Philbo. If anything happens, I can attack him. Oh man, Philbo, light a match. Ugh, I'll help you. <laughs> Philbo, who's in there? <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. What was that? Who's in the bathroom? How'd you get behind me? Uh, I don't know, but I remember the first time that this happened, I was so spooked by that, I was like, oh my gosh. That was like our first interaction with the, the snack squatch or whatever that was. And it was, oh, what was that? Who's in the bathroom? Let's do that one. I forgot what we did last time, but let's see. Who's in the bathroom? Huh? I... I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. 
Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. It sounds like I've seen a ghost. <gasps> and now the door's open. This is still on fire. Catch the toilet paper on fire. We do- Oh! <laughs> the toilet paper's on fire! No! No! Alright, well, let's throw this in here, because golly, is it stinking there, Phil, though. You forgot the flood. Well, you can't really flush with an outhouse, can you? <laughs> Go back to the camp, shall we? Hey, how's it going? Sorry about that. What a mess. Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. <gasps> this story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? <laughs> Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is lurking out there. And it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. <gasps> Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all. Oh, uh, <laughs> no need to freak out. It's probably just a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> <laughs> I think that sound came from the mill. Maybe there's a trail we can follow? <laughs> Bilbo, I can't take you seriously at all when you look like this. I'm sorry. All right, let's take this. Oh, Tiffany, your leg is on fire. It's, it's, it's roasting up your, your, your ribble pee like legs. Ew. All right. Oh, God, get out of my face. Jeez. I think that sound was just the sound of the bridge going down here. I'm like, that's what it sounded like. I'm like, now that we know what happened, that's definitely what it sounded like. And that's definitely what it looks like here, too. The bridge is down. Chandler came down from Sugar Pine Woods. Do you really have to get that close? Uh, personal space? Ever heard of it? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, let's go up here and let's go see who's at the at the top of the mill. Oh, who's that? Oh, who are you? Chandler? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Ah, uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay. Oh, darn it. <clears throat> oh, well. Let's get back and tell the others. All right. Yeah, Shelda is the one that he asked about. And yeah, we already know about Shelda and her wisdom. And during the final party, 
Uh, Chandler. Oh my god, there's like pieces of, uh, <laughs> I didn't notice the pieces of wood over here on the ground after that, like, got exploded. <laughs> Either way, yeah, Shelda and Chandler, like, Chandler's listening to Shelda's wisdom during the, the final party, but... Hey everyone, it was just Chandler, don't worry don't about worry, it. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> you're not fine, you're nasty looking. Um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. <laughs> but wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, it, Tiffany? it definitely just fades out whenever she's through into another one of her, like, historical stories. <laughs> Anyways, Philbo, how's that party? What should I do? I guess you can't talk about that. Let's chat. Every time I go home, all my stuff is moved around, and there are new paw prints on the floor. I'm starting to think maybe ghosts are real. <laughs> you know, we need to do more of these let's chat things too. Let's see what let's see what everyone just randomly says. And it's funny how he says that. When in the corner of our eye, I think I just saw Befka go into Philbo's uh his hut over there. Later! Let's go see. Well, who do we have here? A sharp tongued socialized snoop. My bestie, apparently. Coming in here to snoop and move around his frogs and bed pillow and whatever else. Toilet paper. Oh! Get out of my face. Have time for, oh yeah, we have to interview her too, yeah. See ya. We're pretty much out of time for this episode. Once again, getting close to the 50. Oh my God, Phil, but you just went to the bathroom. You're going to the bathroom again. But yeah, we're getting close to the 50 minute mark. So I might as well end off the episode right here. And then when we come back, we can do some more interviews. And hey, it looks like now Chandler let down the bridge. Yep, now we can go to Sugar Pine Woods. Go get those two big bopsicles and go give them to <laughs> you get with the Tromdo, so he can come back to Snacksburg as well. And of course, up there, we're going to meet Chandlow. Oh, I can see the, uh... That's the watchtower there. There's a basketball, uh, goal. Like, somewhere up there is where Lisbert was, like, looking down. Interesting. I didn't think we were able to see that from here, but, uh, that's pretty cool that we can. Oh, Philip, I thought you were in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I, 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 I guess I'll give him a sweetie fly, but what are we going to do with the sweetie fly, though? Like, like, where are we going to put it? Sweetie! Ow. Sweetie! Ow. I guess one of his legs, because he's got uh, both brutal legs, so... <laughs> <laughs> he's just got, like, a heart lollipop for a foot. <laughs> Stupid looking! Alright, and then next we need to feed him something to turn one of his hands into something, and then every part of his body is going to be different, so that's going to be fun. But either way, we're going to worry about doing that next episode, as well as those interviews and bringing back Chandlo and, and Snorpy and, and uh, Krom, uh, yeah, Cromdo. We're going to worry about that next episode and, of course, the interviews, if I didn't say that yet right there. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new video goes up so you never miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Bug Snacks. Oh, bye there.